for the global ecosystems, climate, and the conservation of biodiversity. The forests of our Earth are of elementary importance, but this ecosystem is increasingly threatened by wildfires. 80% of all wildfires are caused by humans. These fires burn over 25 million hectares of forest every year, worldwide. They destroy an area equivalent to 18 million soccer fields, resulting in soil erosion and loss of biodiversity. And the devastating fires are increasingly destroying the world's largest carbon sink. The forest filters carbon from the air and stores it. When it burns, the carbon is released back into our atmosphere. Wildfires are causing 7.8 billion tons of carbon emissions each year. That's about 20% of the global emissions, or about the same amount that the entire traffic, all cars, all aeroplanes and all ships combined are putting into the air. In addition, more than 3 billion animals die in wildfires each year. People lose their home, and we are incurring enormous financial damages of more than $140 billion each year. To counter this global threat, technical solutions are being developed to detect forest fires. Satellite and camera-based systems observe the treetops from a great distance to report smoke plumes. Waldbrände begin as forest fires often begin in the dry ground. They can smolder for hours or even days before an open fire breaks out. The smoke often stays under the tree canopy. Optical systems only recognize the smoke when it rises over the tree tops. By the time an optical system detects a fire, several hectares are usually on fire. When the firefighters arrive at the scene, enormous heat has developed. A large area is burning that is difficult to control and sometimes impossible to extinguish. The operations cost millions. Dryad has a different innovative approach. Instead of optical observation of the forest, Dryad integrates technology with nature in an almost symbiotic relationship. Our goal is ultra-early detection of wildfires. We are bringing ultra-sensitive gas sensors into the forest. The solar-powered sensors detect the slightest change in the gas composition of the air. In our laboratory, we train the sensors for the smell of a fire in individual forest ecosystems, such as pine, beech and oak. With the Dryad Silvernet sensors, we can also measure other parameters such as humidity and air temperature, enabling us to determine the fire risk level in a particular forest area. Using a wireless radio network, the solar-powered gas sensors send alarm messages from the forest to the emergency response center. With ultra-early detection, wildfires can be detected in less than 60 minutes and extinguished before they spread out of control. The advantage of early detection is that the fire brigade is alerted ahead of time via the control center. With GPS tracking, the location can be determined within 50 meters of where the sensors have reported an alarm. This was not possible before. Now, I'm receiving a message directly on my cell phone with the GPS position, so I know exactly where to go. Early detection enables us to extinguish a fire while it's still in its infancy. In the future, we will be able to use the integrated system to also measure other parameters such as tree growth, soil moisture and sap flow. With Silvernet, we are enabling automated, large-scale forest monitoring in a targeted manner and help to make the forest fit for the future. A key innovation is Silvernet's self-sufficient, large-scale network infrastructure. The solar-powered mesh network is based on the open industry standard LoRaWAN. The ability to receive live data from the forest opens up the potential for additional applications. Preventing forest fires is active climate protection. Dryad, connecting the natural world.